new name, new capabilities, but the same legacy. It's the OM1 from OM System. OM System has revived the OM1 name from the 70s and blessed it as a name for their new flagship. At first glance, you'll see there are some similar design cues from the EM1 Mark III, but the OM1 has some aesthetics to make it uniquely its own. First, that dial that used to circle the shutter button has been moved down to prevent it from being accidentally moved. The thumb dial is now covered and makes it more like other cameras on the market. We were happy to see the AF on button by itself for back button focusing. Before we get into specs, I want to invite you to like this video and subscribe to us on YouTube. Doing this keeps you up to date on more videos like this one, as well as live streamed events. Sticking to the back of the OM1, things start to change when we look at the EVF and the LCD screen. This is a 5.76 million dot OLED EVF which is more than double the pixel density of the EM1 Mark III and the EM1X. This also has a 120 frames per second refresh rate and works well when using the blackout free shutter modes. The LCD screen has 1.62 million dots, which makes it over half a million dots more than the EM1 Mark III and the EM1X. Now that we're back here, I want to show you something that doesn't happen often in the camera industry and that's the menu. OM System has completely redesigned the menu to be more modern, better organized, and makes better use of screen real estate for selecting options. This is a welcomed addition, and we can't wait to see OM System push it out to future cameras. Regarding the photo specs, the OM1 sports a 20.4 megapixel stacked backside illuminated sensor paired with the TruePic X processor that has three times the processing speed compared to the previous generation. It still is a micro four thirds lens mount allowing you to use smaller, lighter lenses. The focusing system uses 1053 phase detect autofocus points allowing you to more easily track subjects like faces, eyes, cats, dogs, cars, trains, airplanes, helicopters, all using AI. In terms of high photo bursts, you can shoot up to 10 frames per second in mechanical shutter and up to 50 frames per second in electronic shutter with an increased internal buffer. You can also get up to 1 8,000th of a second shutter speeds in mechanical shutter and up to 1 32,000th of a second in electronic shutter. Of course, the OM1 still has focus stacking, live composite, live ND, and high res shot. In fact, you can get up to a 50 megapixel raw image in high res shot handheld and an 80 megapixel raw image when using a tripod. To make this feature easier to use, OM System made high res shot accessible by hitting the record button when in the still shooting mode to toggle it on or off. Moving to the video capabilities of the OM1. OM System has for the first time given us 4K up to 60 frames per second in either UHD or DCI. This is a 10-bit 420 sampling. Shooting up to 240 frames per second is achievable in the full HD mode. To go beyond the in-camera color profiles, choose either the OM Log 400 or HLG for more latitude. For those of you shooting in 12-bit raw video for higher-end projects, Atomos and OM System have worked together to make the OM1 ProRes RAW enabled when using the Atomos Ninja V recorder. Other notable features include in-body sensor stabilization, dual UHS-2 SD card slots, a shutter rated for at least 400,000 actuations, a fully weather sealed body rated to IP53, a new BLX1 battery with optional dual charger, and constant power through the USB-C port. Priced at $21.99 for the body and $27.99 when kitted with the 12 to 40 millimeter f2.8 version 2 lens, the OM1 gives you a lot of features in a small, lightweight body. To add one to your bag, 
Visit any of our physical Bedford locations or online at bedfords.com. My name is Tyler with Bedford Camera and Video, and we'll see you next time.